Right, let's start week two of our vlog with a delivery that just arrived. And uh, I wasn't expecting this today because I looked at the status earlier and I was only in Gatwick. But it seems it has come through and it's, if you look at this, it is the Marvel minifigures. Now, it does look like it's going to be in the box. I will be opening it at some stage later and show you. But I will be, you know, opening all these and add these to my store. So a good way to start the week. I think these are going to be popular. So these ones were from WH Smith. If you watch vlog one, you will have seen how much I paid for these. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I still got all my IKEA boxes here. So a part of that, 28 of them. So still a whole bunch of them uh, up here. But yeah, um, looking forward to opening these uh, later. So I uh, just wanted to quickly film this because I am actually working today. So I have to wait for later to do that. So I decided I can't actually wait. So uh, let's open it. Sorry, I might have to put the camera down. I don't know what this is. But this looks like a box. The one thing I want to know, let me just see if I can uh, put this on like a little tripod. I might have to do it like that, sorry. It's a bit wobbly. Because the one thing, you select 36 at uh, WSM, so you don't know if it's 36 single bags or it comes in the box. Looking good, looks like it's a box. Yeah. Box with minifigures. So I've got two of these, so um, we'll be opening the one later and we're going to be parting these out. Well, I mean parting them out, I open every single bag, rebag them into a clear poly bag and then just list them uh, for sale. So, to so today is also the day that I'm going to be finishing off parting out these uh, 28 um, IKEA uh, sets. Um, there's about, this is the last bag, the little bag I kept for last. Um, 28 of these bags it works out around 1400 pieces still left to add to the store and it looks like it's 24 lots so uh, these sets parted out at 19 so yeah this is kind of a follow-on from my first vlog last week where I started parting this out uh, but I've been doing this over a few days so I've gradually been getting through it so earlier today I received uh, the Marvel minifigures and I've parted out one box and uh, my wife's actually working on the other box. I just want to show you this is how I uh, rebag them. So I open the original bags and then just keep everything in there as it is, um, even if it's got the, you know, all the plastic bags in there. Sometimes they open because they're sealed inside the seal. Nothing we can do about that, but then we just rebag these and then we just uh, sell them individually. So that's how we operate our minifigures so just as i finished parting out um some of the marvel minifigures my wife is incidentally is working on the other box that we've got uh this parcel arrived from john lewis so this is the second order and i think this was with my lego 85 discount code so let me just open this about that making a bit of noise so you can see already what's in there it is my advent calendars and there's four in here four different ones because they sold that of the um, marvel ones by the time i want to buy so i've got a star wars one there got the lego city one harry potter and friends uh i also ordered the um, marvel one from amazon earlier today so that one will be coming as well so these are going to be stored for a while until it's closer to december then i'll bring them out and every day i'm going to be doing a live stream opening all of these so uh that's definitely coming up in december but i already made sure i bought them because i do know this one star wars last year sold out and sold for a premium so Anyone who uh, wants to speculate, take a gamble, maybe want to order some Star Wars, then maybe also the Marvel ones. 
and resell them. So yeah, we'll see uh, when the other one gets here. Hello, uh, it is Tuesday morning and we've got an order on Bricklink. It's been a while, we get some decent orders. So as you can see, we got this order for 307 items, 69 lots. Quite a nice order of 57 pounds. And on eBay, this is the highest number we've seen in the morning. So uh, these are a lot of the Marvel minifigures we've just loaded up. So these are clearly popular. So uh, yeah, very pleased with that. Hi guys, I just wanted to share with you something. You know I am a fan of Brick Bucks and I've been speaking to Shane quite a bit, but he's now got a newsletter out and he's actually featured us in this newsletter. So I just want to thank Shane for that, but also Definitely go check out if you're looking at it from anything from a Lego investing perspective, especially for people who are based in the US. He's got a lot of great insights. So this is his first um, Brick Scoop, I think it's called. You can go to brickbucks.net and uh, sign up to the newsletter. And every week, I believe, he sends this out with some insights. And he's actually linked our top 10 video. So thanks for that. So it's been about 24 hours since I listed these Marvel minifigures. And there were two boxes I listed, so there's 72, and look at the available quantity now, it's 43. So these have been selling like hotcakes, so uh, this is the first time I've ever sold a new series just like this from the start, and uh, there's definitely a lot of demand for them. So we're Tuesday evening, and this has just arrived, and I think, let me just, just think about how I'm going to do this from a camera perspective. Just try and put it on the tripod. There you go, that might work. And this should be the missing advent calendar. So I bought this on Amazon. So yeah, it is the Marvel's advent calendar. So I've got all five now. So uh, come December, I'll be doing live streams every day opening these. So uh, I'll be storing this away until December. So today I had to go to the office and I came home and my wife has been uh, busy for me. She's been uh, helping to part out the set, so four of these. Um, this is how we tend to do it, put it in cups and then I move it on to the store and bring more cups. So uh, yeah, that's uh, this set is being parted out and I think we'll fill up the this, this store again to uh, its maximum lots in terms of uh, locations that we have available. So yes, today we are Wednesday the 8th of September and I went into work today and I decided to go into the store near my office, which I've never really been into. And I saw they had a toy section, so I went up and uh, they had lots of Lego. Um, most of it was uh, full RRP. They had some Super Mario discounts, but I kind of took a video in store uh, just to show you the selection they had. And then I also noticed that they had some... Uh, you know, stuff that was really old, like Overwatch stuff, so retired sets and things that were on clearance. So uh, I might have to go back in there and get some stuff. So I got home this evening and there was a parcel ready for me. So uh, let's open and see uh, what's inside this parcel. So I think I know what it is. It's something from Velocity Electronics that we that I talked about on the Discord channel. By the way, if you're not a member of our Discord channel, it's completely free to join. Most of our videos have a link on how to join. So these are some retired Star Wars sets that they had available for about, I think it was £14 each. So I bought three, and I know a few other people might have bought them as well. Because as soon as I said these were available, they were no longer available shortly after. And I know someone on the chat showed a picture that he also received these today. Uh, but his had crushed corners, and I think mine are in a bit better condition. Here we 
we go. Three of these 75239 action battle hoth generator attack. So, yeah, these boxes are in great condition. Gotta be pleased with that. So, today it's um, Thursday evening. Uh, we're the, I think it's 9th of September. I might be wrong. I think it's the 9th, yeah. I went back to work in Wimbledon. I went into Elis and I actually decided to pull the trigger on buying all these minifigures and clearance. So, I will be busy sorting all those out. There's a box, although it's an open box, it was not a sealed box. Um, but I think I got 92 of these bags, I'm told you can see. Nicely discounted, normally 2 99 And they had more, but first I'll see how they sell before I buy any more. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal, especially it being Disney branded as well. So yeah, that's uh, the next task. Hi guys, so I've been parting out the... Um, Disney minifigures and the good news is we got one of each but some of them clearly have been picked more than others so we got some Anna's there there's six of them then we got chips you know from Chip and Dale there's nine of them there's eight Dales we've only got one Dewey no surprise there because they're popular then we've got three Edna modes two Elsa's and as our friend uh, Mark predicted lots of Frozones, because I was talking to him today, and he said, you're probably gonna have lots of Frozones, and there's 10 of them. Then we got six Hades, only one Hercules, and this guy, I, I was, he was the last one that was missing. It was only about eight bags from the end before I found one. I thought I was gonna have this one missed out. Then we've also got only one uh, Huey. We've got four Jack Skellingtons, uh, five Jafars, and then how many Jasmines we've got? We've got five Jasmines, five Louis, five Sallies, quite a lot of Scrooge McDucks, so I think we've got eight of those. And then seven Vintage Mickeys and six Vintage Minis. Yeah, so uh, that's what we got uh, today. So it's Friday and I'm um, just recorded a video, uh, just rendering it now, and that will be uploaded very shortly. And uh, this is what we're doing today. You know, we use Filmora to do our software editing in case anybody knows. We find it quite easy and straightforward to use it. And um, yeah, it's uh, quite a busy day. Got lots of work on as well. So I thought during my lunch break, I'll make sure that this is, gets done. Hi guys, it's Friday uh, and I've just finished work. And I decided um, I'm sure we're going to be doing the weekend, so I wanted to go have a look, see what's on the pick a brick wall in the Brighton Lego store. So, uh, yeah, it only takes about half an hour, and hopefully, the traffic will be going the opposite direction coming out of Brighton. So, uh, we're going to have a quick look and see what they've got on the wall.
Right, so been to the Lego store and got four pick a brick cups and I just wanted to demonstrate uh, how um, my um, counting scales work. So um, just turn it on and we select the mode holding P until uh, it says 25. So that's the quantity is the base weight you want to calculate. Uh, you can select M to select 50, you know, 60, 75 and 100, I believe. So 25 is OK because we're going to be doing one by two bricks. Uh, if you're doing very small items that, you know, it's very difficult to calculate the base weight, it's better to select more and maybe 50. So I've already pre-calculated, well, pre-counted 25 of them. So I'm going to put those in. Now confirm it by pressing P. Now that means this is the weight for 25. And now watch what happens when I start tipping more than... pick up the other pieces I dropped one on the floor so you can see in this cup there should be 429 so it's you know interesting people want to know how many items fit in a cup more or less and that's why you know on our discord server I selected uh, put a section on called uh, pick a brick data analysis and it got, so it got a link to this um, you know Google document sheet that we've got here and one thing we just build is is data so anyone can access it as add stuff so this is you know i know the brick in the so this is a brick I'll, I'll update this later but it's it's a brick it's large it was loosely scooped because some people stack it and we've got 429 so if someone wants to find out you know how many items fit more or less in a cup uh, it gives a good idea as well to see whether things are worth it or not. So I thought we'll build this and uh, see if it's useful to anybody. So it's Friday evening. Uh, we're about 10 to 9. I've kind of finished preparing for my stream just about. So I use this um, Surface Pro old one just to kind of keep an eye on the chat whilst we're doing it. I just want to give you an insight bit of the, the background in case you wonder how I'm running it on YouTube. And then I run this on the laptop and I use the Streamlab OBS as the software to, to run see the camera there GoPro and um, I do things quite pretty much off the cuff I don't have any scripts really I just got a few notes just uh, here's a list of the retailers I'm gonna go through some of the Amazon set numbers because I needed to make notes to kind of find out how much they are and just a, a, bit, of, a bit of scribbles and, and a drink so yeah just a, a quick insight how I prepare for my Friday Lego deals so uh, hope you enjoy that so we've got about five minutes to go till the the live stream on Friday. I think it's probably going to be the video that's actually going to trip us to become monetized because you can see we're very close to having our watch hours. We've got about 30 watch hours to go. It's usually about a day late as well, so it needs to update from yesterday's number. And I think once we do today's live stream, we should probably hit up 4,000. So our channel should get monetized. Can't believe that's actually happening. So yeah, thank you everyone for that support and for keep watching the content we post. So it's Saturday evening and we're talking on Discord about the value of these dinosaur sets uh, in the various colors that we have here in the UK, which is a new trial. And it seems that they are going for quite quick profit quite quickly. And you know me, when I see an opportunity, you can't resist. So uh, yeah, these guys are making me spend even more money. So uh, placed an order. Got some stuff coming more lego it's sunday morning and we woke up to this we can finally apply for monetization so uh it's pretty much an uh a new milestone for our youtube channel and i'd uh, just like to thank everyone for all their support and never really thought we'd get to this stage and for anybody who's kind of got their like goal to set um well set for uh monetization the one thing we can just recommend is just, you know, try keep plugging at it and try keep putting content on there because that's ultimately how you get there. But yeah, that was never really our goal to get monetized, but it's a nice bonus that we're not going to say no to, right? It's Sunday morning and we've gone to Brighton as the famous pier. Now we're here for my uh, nephew's birthday. We're going to do some laser zone. And uh, we decided we're a bit early. There's a, there's a marathon going on as well. So we came early just because you never know with the traffic and uh, we're just going to chill out on the beach till we are due to go so there's actually people in the water so uh, 
Sunday is rest day. So the Brighton Marathon is on today as well whilst you're here, so uh, good running. This is about the halfway point, I believe, so uh, see it's all fun stuff. And then we got the Brighton i360 over there. What is Killy's name? There we go. So people are running. I marred him, I can do it. Alright, it's Sunday afternoon now, just before I'm probably going to start creating this uh, video, put all the elements together. Now, I couldn't be in Brighton today without just dropping by into the Lego store, of course, now. I uh, just got two pick a brick cups. One is some more trans clear, a uh, trans dark, um, yeah, trans black, one by two tiles. And these windows, uh, the reason why I added some more of these window things was last night I got an order that cleared me out. So, so well, maybe I should buy another cup. So that's what I did. And... In store, I bought one of these and one of these. So, got some of those dinosaurs as well. And then got home around two o'clock, decided I needed to do some food shopping. So, I went to Sainsbury's and uh, dropped in at Argos to pick up my um, order of um, Looney Tune minifigures. So, I'll be adding those to the store. Now, incidentally, I saw that in the Sainsbury section, they had a, a you know, clip strip with lots of these attached as well for 233 so they're actually cheaper than uh, these for 250 but they only had one left. I didn't buy it, couldn't be bothered. But uh, yeah, I got 20 of these at £2.50. So yeah, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. This was the second one, so uh, let's see what next one brings. See you soon. Bye.